Hi, my name is Dave Andrews. Today I'm going to show you some rules for creating flowcharts. Let's go to our computer. I'm going to click on the start button. And we're going to use Microsoft Word to create some flowcharts. So I'm going to click on Microsoft Office. And let's find Microsoft Word. Now there are a couple of rules that you need to follow when you're creating a flowchart, and these are, you know, mostly informal rules, but also if you break these rules, your flowchart will become unreadable. So let's go to insert, and under shapes, we're going to find the flowchart area. Now the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a process uh, object onto my flowchart. Now there's one rule you need to remember about uh, processes, and that is that they can only have one arrow coming into them. If you, or, or rather, going out of them. Here's an arrow going into the process, and this is an input. Now I'm going to create an arrow coming out of the process. Now, if you're looking at this process, you know that you're coming to it from here and you're leaving it from there. Now, what happens if I'm then uh, working on this process and I have another arrow going this way? Well, that leaves the question. I've just come into my process right here. What route should I take after I make this, uh, after I execute this process? This is not a decision object, this is a process. So one rule about processes is that they should always have only one exit. Now they can have as many coming into the process as you would like, but only one going out of. Now I'm going to come down and I'm going to show you a little bit about the, uh, one of the other more important uh, objects, and that is a decision. Now under flowchart, let's drop a decision on there. Let's make it red. Now decision is kind of the opposite. You can have um, all kinds of uh, items coming out of a decision after you make your decision. But if you only have one coming out of your decision, then you didn't really make a decision to begin with. Let me uh, draw this out for you. I'm going to put one more line here. Okay, we have a uh, coming from a process into our decision object here. And let's say this decision is, uh, you know, should I eat lunch today? Well, that's going to have two answers, yes or no. Uh, there, you know, there's no maybe. Uh, it's either going to be a yes or a no out of, this, uh, out of this decision. There's our yes and there's our no. So what happens if I'm working on this document and I delete my no? Well... I've just come into my decision, I have a yes, well, that's the only thing I've got. So there's no decision to be made. I'm just going to come this way, I'm going to go out that way. So you have to have more than one exit coming from a decision. Uh, really, those two rules will help you write just about any type of flowchart you need to write. Processes have only one output, and decisions have more than one output. Uh, those will get you going in your uh, life of creating flowcharts. My name is Dave Andrews, and I've just showed you a couple rules for drawing flowcharts.